girl friends thank you so much for tuning into tish b tv this video is going to be a tad bit different than any other that i have posted so far but my two young daughters absolutely love youtube and they're always watching vlogs so they keep saying mama why don't you do a vlog well i didn't know if i could how to do them i didn't know anything about them but i said you know what why not go out there and just create footage um, as I'm going about my days and create a vlog. Well, this is my birthday week and I figured, hey, why don't I go ahead and do it this week? Just put it out there and not try to be so perfect about everything and let you all see a glimpse of my life. Now, I do have to warn you again, this is my very first vlog. I just pressed record whenever I remembered to press record and some footage may be short, some may be long, but I wanted to do this um, especially because my children asked me to. And I also love vlogs. So with that being said, I'll be quiet and I'll let you see how bits and pieces of my week went and how I ended it for my birthday. And I would love to hear from you down below in the comment area. Let me know if you would like to see more vlogs from me. Um, even let me know how I did on this one, but be nice about it. <laughs> okay? And I will see you in the next video. Have a great week and thank you for watching. Bye! So I was going on a field trip with my daughter to the pumpkin patch and that's when the vlog idea really stuck. But I forgot to get footage of the pumpkin patch. So after the pumpkin patch, my husband and I decided to take the littles on to the state fair and just enjoy the day there. And of course, I was excited because I wanted to go there and eat. I have always been one that is a little scared of the ride, so it's good to see that my kids don't have the fear that I have, and they just let loose and will ride whatever they are able to get on. My husband absolutely loves the livestock portion of the fair, so of course we had to stop by. And on our way out, we see this acrobatic section to the state fair and stopped by to take a look. This girl is amazing. Okay, so can we talk about girl power? Her friend was named as being the only female that walks outside of this wheel contraption. Here she is attempting to jump rope on it and we were sitting on the front row and she scared the daylights out of me. Oh my gosh. But she got through her routine and of course your girl had to take a picture with these powerhouses. So no judging here. I told you I was here for the food. I had to have a caramel apple, fried cheese on a stick. I mean, what do they not serve on a stick and fried at the fair? We had a really great time. So the next morning, I had to go in to see my doctor for a post-op appointment just to make sure that everything is progressing well. So this is what I'm doing this morning. 
And my least favorite part to the doctor's office is actually sitting in the doctor's office waiting for them to come in and examine everything. Oh, gives me the heebie-jeebies. Doctor's appointment went well, so now I'm headed to the middle school to see my oldest daughter receive her award for all A's. No footage, I'm so sorry. So of course, when I went to lunch, I didn't get footage. <laughs> So fast forward to the weekend, it's Saturday, the girls had to wake up early to be in our town's Founders Day Parade. So here we are doing a little chit chat before we find the float and make things happen for the day. Our Founders Day Parade is just a community activity that brings all of us together and it's something fun to do with the kids and it showcases what's available in our area. Now you'll see this fellow and his gorgeous little girl. These are some very good friends of ours, Judge Alex Gwynn. I was sitting next to his wife and we had a good time laughing, especially about our husbands. What do you think the kids loved most about this parade? Would it be the candy that's being thrown? Love the dancers, love the cheerleaders, they had music blasting. That was my favorite part. Now, this is funny to me because Judge Gwen has to go and get baby Addison because both of her sisters are on this dance company float. <laughs> Too cute. So after the parade, I could barely walk to the area to pick up the kids. But guess what? I jumped on this choo-choo train and he was a huge help. After the parade in our city park, there is a talent showcase, there are vocal competitions, barbecue competitions, vendors, you name it, all in this one area. And that's one of the good things about a small community, when you can bring everyone together to just embrace everything that's available within your community. Guys, we just made it in from the Founders Day celebration at the park and it's not humid like it typically is in this neck of the woods but I'm telling you whatever heat 
came through, it came through. And then just doing all of the things with the kids this morning and walking through the park to see the performances of the dance company has worn me out. I hope that you're enjoying this vlog so far. My very first vlog, trying to get the hang of it and instead of just procrastinating and saying that I'm going to do it, I'm just putting it out there and giving it to you. So hopefully you enjoy it and um, if so, let me know down in the comment area. And um, there's a few more things that we're gonna do today and I'll take you along with me. But right now I'm going to probably take a shower to get the first half of the day off of me and take a nap. Okay, before that much needed nap, got a call to come pick up one of our vehicles from the dealership and I'm going to do this as fast as I can so I can go and relax. Later on that night, my husband told me to get dressed, to get the kids dressed because he was going to take me somewhere and we ended up here at the Pine Bluff Country Club. And to my surprise, some of my near and dear were there waiting for me to have dinner and of course make me tear up by saying such sweet things about me. Oh my goodness, I ordered the shrimp and grits and it gave me pure life. Pure life. Day today it's Sunday it's kind of wet and dreary outside but it's not going to damp my parade we're getting ready to go to our first service and probably go um, do brunch and a little bit of shopping today let me show you what it looks like outside a rainy day that's okay I'm still gonna enjoy it I don't think so. Y'all ready for church? Mm-hmm. <laughs> church girls. Good. Good. What are y'all doing? Bad. On musically? Yes, what are we gonna eat for brunch? Uh, Texas Roadhouse. Texas Roadhouse. Probably. Oh, mommy, mommy, salad. mommy, daddy went that, that way. Left or right? Back there. What is that? What is back there? Like where Walmart is. Yeah, where oh, Walmart. he may be going to the hotel. Or going to get some food because she needs some food. Oh, could be. Well, anyway. First day lunch at Texas Roadhouse. The girls won. But I mean, I'm not arguing with them. Uh,
So after brunch and a little bit of shopping, we always stop off at my favorite dessert shop located in the River Market and it's called Kilwins. I always get a caramel apple. My husband and daughters get their favorite ice cream and this is like the best treat to have on our way home to wrap up an afternoon or evening together. Girlfriends, if you liked my very first vlog ever, please give this video a thumbs up and let me know down in the comment area. And if you haven't already subscribed to the Tish B TV channel, don't leave here without doing so. I'd love to stay connected with you. And until next time, design and live the life that you love. Have a great week. Bye.